Hi, and today we're going to be making a raindrop bracelet out of loom bands on the rainbow loom. Unfortunately, it's just going to be me doing this video, as Bethany's not able to join me. Hope that'll be okay and you can tolerate me. Okay, what we're going to need to make the bracelet is 24 or 25 of, of one colour of bands, which makes the outside this bit. Then we will need two sets of 12 bands to make the inside bit, this bit. If it, I'm sorry if it looks really confusing. Hopefully you'll see it in the video. Obviously we are also going to need an S-clip. Alright, we're now going to start laying the bands out on the loom. The first thing we need to do is get one of the bands that we have 24 of and let, put it from there to there. If you're doing it on the rainbow loom, make sure that the arrow is pointing towards you. I'm obviously having it sideways, so it doesn't really matter. But just basically make sure you're doing it the right way, because that matters quite a lot. Then you get a band going from here to here, and here to here. We then carry on, like, the, by the way, this is all single bands in this pattern, so there aren't any doubles. Well, there kind of are, but not, and not only doubles in this bit, which should hopefully make it easier. Do you see what I'm doing? You keep laying the bands out, going down the loom, just like you're making a really basic bracelet, just going like this, okay? Let's push that down a bit. Remember, you can always pause the video at any time if you need to catch up, as usually it helps if you're working alongside the video. You then bring it in to the centre. You will then do the same on the other side. Oops. There we go. And then it's basically symmetrical, so we bring it in there. You've done the first bit of the bracelet. Now it's time to move on to using next colours. What we do now, we start here by putting one of our bands down. You then put the other coloured one on top of it, so it creates a double band. It should look like this. Okay, the next bit we do is get the colour of the band we put on the bottom, in this case it's a blue, and put it there. We then get a green and put it on top there. And then a blue on the bottom, and then a green on the top. Try not to get the two bands twisted in this bit. It doesn't really ruin the design if you do, but still, it may, it just looks a bit better, really, and you're know, more neat. <laughs> okay, there we are. And then we put another blue on. So this is very much a kind of beginner's design. I'm pretty sure everybody could do this if you have the right materials. Can you please let me know in the comments if I'm going too fast or too slow? in any of these videos. We're just trying to be helpful. So any feedback, positive and negative if you want, but we probably prefer more positive, please feel free to share in the comments. There we go, nearly finished. Okay. And then the last two we put on, let's move that down a bit, we put on there and there. Now we're going to need another band of the first colour, 
in this case it was pink and we put a cat band on the end if you're not sure how to do a cat band you put a band on and wrap it round a few times i feel it looks best to do it about three you can also do it on your finger but personally i find that easier your design should now look like this i would pause the video and go back if it looks a bit different